Those of you who have seen my previous videos will be aware of the Givi GRT709 soft pannier setup I utilise on my PR7. Following a recent trip on the northern Spanish Tet, I noted the items I had not used over the 10 days. I started working on a minimal short camping trip setup and this is what I've put together. This sub 12kg setup would easily see me through 4 or 5 days, longer if I make the effort to wash clothes. The strongest, lightest equipment is usually the most expensive, so finding the balance between perfect for the job and price has been an issue for me. The camping and clothing options I use are by no means the lightest or best, so I'm pleased to have kept the final pack options at a reasonable 12 to 15 kg. This is my pack list for a short Tet trip. The core of my baggage setup is the Givi GRT 709 Canyon soft pannier, used horizontally in this case on the rear rack. The side pockets come equipped with removable dry sacks and are big enough to easily accommodate two times one and a half litre fuel or water bottles, or in my case, a tent outer and poles. I use a dry sack in this setup to carry the tent inner, keeping it dry and separate to the outer fly tent. The addition of two cheap 5 litre mole bags strapped to the side and bottom of the 709 have expanded the available capacity to 45 litres total. The built in 709 straps add a second layer of security to keep the extra bags in place. The SW Motec 30 litre backpack sits on top for short term capacity when shopping etc or carry my optional camping chair and bed. All in, the whole unit is a shade under 12kg when packed. The outer and inner tent, the poles, pegs and ground sheet are all accessible individually, while the sleeping bag, mattress and clothes bags are in the main compartment. This allows the tent to be put up or taken down in bad weather with little weather exposure for unused items. My on bike wear is Tech 7 boots, Alpine Stars Andis 3 trousers and an MX shirt under the Ace Abyss Galaxy body armour. This is a much cooler option than a touring jacket. For coffee breaks in Spain in the mid to high 20s there was no need to remove it as it was plenty cool enough to sit in. Comfortable between around 10 and 30 degrees C, with a Scott Ergonomic Pro DP jacket packed for a waterproof top layer when needed, this is my go-to kit for local and off-road riding. The clothes I carry are split into two units, a spare clothes bag and a day bag. For the day bag I utilise the laundry bag from the Givy T518 travel set. This contains shoes, socks, t-shirt, plus lightweight trousers and jacket for end of day or long ferry crossings. The medium pack from the T518 is sufficient for spare clothes on a short trip. The T518 wash bag has capacity for everything you could need for at least two weeks on the road. The toolkit travels in one front Lomo bag. While first aid, food and cooking kit together with goggles, snood, bike cover and waterproof jacket fill the other. With the exception of the cooking kit, the contents of the Lomo bags is always with me on any trip, regardless of length. My backpack with 2 litre water bladder also carries day to day stuff. Loo roll, torch, sunglasses, power store and cables. This and my day bag form the core daily use items. For longer trips or when staying in the same place for a few days, I also have the option of a camping chair or the luxury of a bed which adds 960 grams and 2.1 kilos respectively. This rounds a weight up to around 15 kg on the rear. I appreciate the pack may place weight a bit higher than other soft pannier options but it does keep width to a minimum and the items out of arm's way, usually. I hope there is something here that will benefit you on your trips. See you on the trails.